Hey there guys. Well, I just had to come on and make a follow-up video to the uh, We Set a Date video that came out on uh, April the 1st. And um, <clears throat> the reason for the follow-up is because... Uh, okay, we'll put it this way. Um, I guess I'll just have to come right out and tell you. It was an April Fool's uh, joke. Now, I was finding it a hard time to fool a, anybody from the U.S. or from Canada because they know what April Fool's is. Mexico, they don't have an April Fool's Day here. They have another day in October, I think it is. It's like a fool me day. But it's a little bit more harsh. If they fool you, that's it. If they fool you out of money, they get to keep the money. So um, I just want to apologize to the people that uh, really took it serious. Um, there was a write-up in the description below. Um, I'm probably going to delete the video from online unless you put in the comments below to leave it on. I don't. I don't know whether I should leave it there or not, but. It is still April 1st today, and I'll put this video up either tonight, probably late tonight. Um, out of all the people on Facebook and uh, YouTube, I've had eight people that I fooled. One was on the fence, and ten people that knew it was an April Fool's joke. So that's pretty close to 50-50%. So now I'm feeling bad for the ones that took it seriously. Uh, I would love for it to be serious myself. That girl that was in the video there that uh, posed as my uh, soon-to-be wife was somebody that I had met actually only 10 minutes before the video. They just happened to be sitting at the, the um, dentist clinic the same time I was there and had my teeth looked at and I saw her there she was a beautiful girl and uh, she was with someone else there not her boyfriend not her husband she was just with someone and uh, she looks after her teeth really well too by the way and uh, I asked her if she would uh, because she's from the US they knew about April Fools and she was more than happy to uh, assist me in the video so she stood beside me and said hello her, her real name is Venus uh, beautiful beautiful girl I loved her f features facial features her looks she was a very beautiful girl but um, now that the April Fool's video is out and people have commented um, I, I, I feel bad for the ones that really took me serious and um, I, I fooled you, although in the description below, I did say that it was April 1, I put down April 1st on the bottom, and I said uh, something to the effect of, uh, make sure you check out what, what day it is today. So if I fooled you and you read that, like shame on you, <laughs> if I uh, fooled you and you didn't really know, you, you just thought it was serious, well, like shame on me, I suppose. And everybody on Facebook, except for one, uh, said it was April Fools. And uh, April 1st is probably my most favorite time of the year. I, I like it more than Christmas or New Year's or it's a toss-up between that and Halloween. I love Halloween and I love April the 1st. It's a time when I can joke and be serious about a joke and hopefully people will take it as a joke and not, I hope you don't feel um, offended by my joke and I hope that if I did fool you and you see this video, um, I hope you can uh, t take it with a grain of salt. As a matter of fact, the ones that commented online or on my uh, video, I'm going to
comment back to you and tell you that it was an April Fool's joke and I'm sorry I'm sorry that you took it as seriously as you did um, it's the nature of April 1st that's that's the day. I wish it was true though believe it or not I I wish I had some nice beautiful woman uh, to spend you know the rest of my days with that would be absolutely fantastic uh, I haven't gone out looking for that and uh, I don't see anybody come looking for me either so so uh, unfortunately it I, it didn't happen that way and I wish it would have she's a nice beautiful girl uh, maybe not necessarily with her she was probably way too young uh, uh, I don't I never asked her age or anything but she said, oh, I'll stand in and I'll, I'll, I'll be your pretend wife to come. And uh, there won't be any flights to Cancun. <laughs> there is no rich uh, father that's going to uh, uh, fork over the money for everything, unfortunately, guys. So if you had uh, plans on coming to Cancun for the wedding, sorry, guys. It was totally and utterly an April the 1st Fool's Day joke and uh, please forgive me if you if you take it uh, too serious to heart to heart uh, I had some fun at least and I'm sure that the ones that actually knew it was April Fool's uh, joke they they took it to fun also so all right thank you guys I'm gonna get edit this video and I'm gonna get it out to you tonight so that you can uh, see it again and reflect on uh, and comment below what you thought. Uh, say, I'm sorry you fooled me, or uh, that was a great joke, or man, I hate you for that. Uh, i never speak to you again. Um, let me know your thoughts about... Uh, I, I, I made one a couple of years ago that one guy commented, Wakey, RC, Paul. He commented and said, I remember a couple of years ago when you made a video about your van all busted up and you couldn't come back to Alberta you were stuck in Vancouver because you couldn't drive your van he remembered that one and he put it in the comments that way so if you go look at the comments on the video you'll see Wakey RC Paul uh, what he uh, what, what he said and make some comments in this video let me know what you thought uh, whether you were fooled by it or not, comment and let me know. I'm curious and uh, to see what you guys actually thought. Thanks for coming out, guys. And I'm going to make another video coming up. Not an April Fool's joke. It's over. <laughs> over until next year. I got a whole year to think about a new one. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you guys all on the next one. Stay awesome, my friends.